A local non-competitive dance studio in Sydney that says it's the first of its kind in Cape Breton is introducing its first performance for the general public on Friday. There's always kind of been a need for non-competitive dancing around here and we've had some temporary opportunities at different points in different years and really wanted to create something permanent. The Painted Dance Studio opened in 2019 and had a successful first few months before the pandemic hit. The studio is now celebrating its reopening. Since we've started, we've wanted to kind of hold this big show that we can bring the community together and get kids on stage from different competitive studios and share with our community in a wholesome kind of way. Harmonia is their full-length dance show that will be hosted at the Highland Arts Theatre in downtown Sydney from August 27th to 29th. The cast includes dancers of all ages from various local studios, and it's the second full-length dance production to be shared on Cape Breton Island. I think my favorite part about Harmonia is uh, really the collective aspect of the show and how the importance of community is emphasized. When I was younger, I went to a competition once and watched all these older people dance and fell in love with us. But yeah, and now I'm here doing the show and I'm very excited to do it with these amazing people that I love very much. I love the people I get to dance with in the production and it's a great opportunity for the Cape Breton dance community because there's not a lot of dance productions around here. The Painted Dance Collective's dancers say that founder and creative director Sparling has created a safe space in her studio that is open for everyone and leaves everyone feeling free to be themselves. Sparling said that Harmonia was created by over eight different collaborators and choreographers. So it's really an exploration of lost and found, all the different ways that we can kind of be lost within ourselves, within the world, um, and how we kind of start to find ourselves and find a place of belonging and how that can really add value to our lives um, and bring us closer to our true authenticity. Um, but it truly explores the nuances between those two things. So how within the lost, there's always a little bit of found and within the found, there's still always going to be a little bit of lost. In Cape Breton, I'm Jessica Smith for the Saltwire Network.